my channel keeping up with Kia P. I am your girl Kia P aka Kia the Crafter and we are working on a brand new very large resin project so go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell hit the like button so that we can be notify you when we are uploading new content and no more further ado let's get started all right guys we are here with a toilet seat yes i have been wanting to do one of these for ever since i saw it i saw um some on a website that were selling for anywhere from 60 to a hundred dollars i guess it was depending on what all was um the embellishments or whatever that was in it and so i do need to replace my toilet seats in my home so i was like why not why not try to do one and then if it come out okay then guess what we can do two more or and do them for people who um just buying a home and things of that nature so we're going to make our first one today. This is a large pour. This is 34 ounces of resin that I am mixing here. This is my largest cup that I have. So that's why I was looking down at the beginning of the video because we got to make sure we get this mixed up really, really good. I have my big spatula. So I want to make sure that we are mixing up this resin really, really good because this is a really big pour, big mix right here. So I don't know how many ounces total these two um, molds are going to need. But again, we starting with 34 ounces. 34, 17 ounces of A. 17 ounces of B. I'm just trying to make sure I'm mixing this up good. It's clear, but we're going to put some coloring in some of it. And um, see if we can get it installed decorate it and see if we can get it installed okay um so with 34 ounces i haven't even really calculated i know i want the majority of this to be white because it is going into my daughter's into our guest bath bathroom. That toilet needs to be replaced first. Toilet seat needs to be replaced. And so we're going to replace that one because that's the one that the guests use. And she uses it. And I just want to go ahead and replace that one. This kit came with hinges and I'll show all of that stuff to you as we put this together and get ready to um, install it into the bathroom okay so I'm gonna start separating some of this take my spatula out wipe it down pretty good and this is just a regular cake spatula then next I'm going to um, take the uh, wipe here to wipe my molds down uh, that's giving time for the bubbles to come up to the top because we don't want anything on the mold and 
this I haven't had this mold for a little over a month now I just had to get enough resin and then some free time to actually pour it and so here we go we have enough resin and I have enough free time This will probably be one of yeah, one of the biggest pours I've poured actually. Um, I think the largest was like 20, 20 something ounces. And I just I'm just getting a lint or whatever this is out of the mold. Cause again, it's been sitting waiting <laughs> to be um and the way this mold looks, it's like the top, this is the, the, the flip side is the top. Weird, because it's kind of like it rolls, rolls out, rolls. So this will be the bottom or the back of the toilet. And then when you take it out, that will be the top. So to put wording and all that on it I would have to probably flip it and then coat it and do it that way and that's fine um, so what we're going to do is begin to separate it begin to separate the resin and I'm going to use my big cup here my next big cup And this is gonna be my white. And then this will be clear. And then I, I want a silver. So I'm gonna pour a little silver in here. So mostly white. So white, this is gonna be silver. Which I can use a little bit more here. Right? And a little less here. Because this is gonna be our clear and glitter. Alright, so let's mix. Got my white. spatula for the white so that I can go ahead and mix it I'm done with this and I make sure I scrape this white paint off and mix it in here really really good we are gonna need some more because this is giving me like opaque not opaque as I would want it to be I want it to be white opaque white not cloudy so we're gonna try to get some more white is a lot of resin so I'm gonna make sure we get it mixed good okay I need a little bit more some white 
paint. Well, I'm out today. I look like a cup of milk, almost. That's the white. I'm going to show y'all in one minute. Get it all mixed in there. Okay, so that's a little bit more, more deep. Less opaque. See how you could barely, well, you could still see the red paddle, but not like it was at first. Okay, so that is our white. Big pour, guys. Big pour alert. Big pour alert. This is our silver. And... Alright, clear. And... Do I want to do glitter? Because glitter always fall. It always fall. So we're going to do flakes. foil flakes instead because the glitter will fall to the top and I don't want the whole like top of the of, the, of it to be glitter so we're gonna use foil instead and I'm just gonna break up some of this so I don't get a lot of big chunks I see it's a big chunk ready to fall. This um this stuff floats all over the place. And stick because I got some big pieces I know that fell in here and it's a black piece that fell, which I don't know where that came from, but get that out and then we'll stir that in there. Maybe it was something in the silver. But the good thing is when you mix it in here, it breaks it down really good. So it makes it easier to break down. So we got that. Now I need my silver and we'll be ready to go. wipe out so I can wipe out this foil which is probably going to be here go 
we want to make sure we get everything out of the mold. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. All right, let me get my silver. Silver here. And I'll put some in there. Start this on up. And this might be more silver than what I need, but oh well. All right, so we got our silver, gray, clear, I mean, uh, foil clear, and our white. So we're going to go ahead and start to pour. Again, this is a big pour, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And I'm going to start with... Um, I'm so afraid. <laughs> um, I guess we'll start with the big one. There's little pieces of hair. Here we go. I'll come back with the silver clear in between it. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. All right, y'all, that's one. Let's get this stuff out of the way. This is such a big four. I'm, 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 I'm a tad bit nervous. Just a smidge of We're not quite full, but I'm going to go ahead and start with this one over here. So, come across the back part. This is 32 ounces, guys. Thirty two ounces of resin. And it's looking so pretty. So far. My main thing is keeping everything leveled. Um, so 32 ounces. 
so far. And so this, because my table is not leveled at all, As level as possible. Once, once it dries, or, or I can find another surface, I'll be able to move, move it a little bit, slide, and maybe a piece of cardboard or something underneath it. Sorry about that, guys. My neighbors getting their yard done, so I do apologize if you can't hear me. throw this gray in here because we still got this gray left but I don't want to over pour it so because this again is a really big pour so The reason y'all probably can hear them so well is because I have my window open for ventilation. So I apologize again. Should be a little bit better. All right, let's get ready to get the silver in here. All right, it's just kind of sitting. It ain't much, but we want to go ahead and drizzle that on in there.
Girl, stop trying to bully me. Okay, let's got the gray in there. So we was able to get everything in. Let's go ahead and scrape our last little bit out. And I'm just going to soften it up a little bit. Let my pour just kind of softening up the edges so it don't look like I just dropped it in there. Mm -hmm. And blending everything just a little bit easier. I wish I had an oven big enough to where I could cure it right away. But I don't, so we have to wait. And I'm just softening up my lines. Again, to make it seem like it's supposed to just kind of run in there. Right? Real pretty. Get it bubbles time enough to lift. This I'm going to set on a different surface. And then I'm going to try to slide something underneath this one to move it onto the same surface. Because it's a more flatter surface. And yeah. And that way it'll cure flat. And that's just giving the bubbles time enough to um, come to the surface so that when we get ready to heat it, most of them will be already at the top. And it'll give us that smooth surface we desire. And this will not fit in the resin oven because it's a little bit too big of a mold. So this one will take... Um, a day or two to finish it I know two days to finish it because we have to coat it and do all the cute stuff and whatnot to it um, if you were to put wording in it from this way you would have to clear coat and then mirror the wording and put it in there so that it will show up The way you the, the way you want it to go so the next one I do I'll do it that way so you guys can get a better understanding of what I mean but I gotta order some more hardware but I think this is gonna be cute for the bathroom that it's intended for and let's go ahead and torch the bubbles out of it and then we'll get this one moved for another surface a cardboard or something so I can move this one 
until it's nice and dry. And then we'll put our last coat on. So right now, 34 ounces. So I'm thinking probably about ooh, another eight, maybe 40 ounces total to complete it. I wouldn't even say yeah, eight to do both. Because you got to put, I'm going to put another layer just to fill the mold all the way up. So I'm super excited. I got a lot of things popping off. A couple molds waiting to be created. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe, like, the like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content. I'm going to keep it coming. As long as you guys keep watching and subscribing and commenting. Thank you all so much so far. I appreciate it. Everyone that has subscribed thus far. Thank you so much. Everyone that watched faithfully. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. I can come here and read some of the comments and just get filled with joy. And when I feel like giving up, I come to the comments and that just keeps me going. So I really, really, really appreciate each and every one of you. Now, the alcohol spray might be a better solution to this, but I don't have any 100% alcohol or, yeah. So, because you can get more of the surface. Although, I just like to clear it this way. But I can see how maybe an alcohol spray would be a better solution and I'm just going around and around on this one little micro bubbles that be along the edge so <clears throat> there's ways to go about that too because we want this to be smooth believe that when you peel it that's your smooth surfaces on the bottom so again you will have to mirror if you have going to add wording to it you're going to have to mirror your wording I'm going to add wording to the one in my bathroom I'm I'm just going to probably put a logo or I mean not a logo but our initials on this one a crescent or something of the sort And then I'm gonna do another one for the for the uh, just the bathroom down here. But I think this is so cute. I'm so excited. Okay. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this one, and then I'm gonna come back and try to move this one later. Now, for your little micro bubbles, what you can do is take like a toothpick or a skewer. And wherever you see them, just kind of move it around it. And that just kind of disrupts them a little bit. And kind of gets them out. Don't scrape your mold at the bottom, but just kind of, again, rub it up against it. And that kind of gets them, disrupts them a little bit. Okay. 
So stay tuned. We're going to come back. All right, guys. All right, guys. We are back. I'm trying to put this where just so you guys can see. Shh. Bring this down just a little bit. Out oh, that way. Okay. All right. That's good. All right. So this is done. Um, still got a little bit more hardening to do because it's still kind of pliable. Um, but it's been about a day, and I'm thinking because it's got the white in it, and when I put the last layer on here, it'll go ahead and harden like it should. We're hoping. Meanwhile, I have printed some words out that I want to put on this piece um, because this would be the one that, you know, the guys will lift up. And I just got a just a little friendly reminder for them. And that is to please let me down, please. I know y'all like really, really, though. Sometimes it's a struggle in the house for a woman. And that's just a little reminder. I thought it would be cute to put that there. I'm looking for my scraper so that here it is. Just a little reminder. Really cute. And because I could, I did. <laughs> and because I could, I did it. Oh, just like that. And we're going to try to, this is my extra strong grip tape, so. It's a little bit more stronger than normal. So I have to really give it a nice tug, but it comes up. It The lettering, it, it grabs the letter so good, it don't make no sense, but it do. You know, give me a little pull. So let me down, please. I thought that would be cute. See, it's still a little, little wobbly. And then I'm gonna switch these out. And that's because I got the tape in my other hand, and they don't have anything on them just yet. For the bigger piece, the back of the toilet. And then I just got our name on it. Why not, huh? Because I can. The Palers, which that is who we are. Ooh, ooh. A little bubble there. And, not, and nothing too much. Just. Just a little something, something. Just a little. I would have liked to put it on the back, but I'm going to put it right here because we very rarely um, have this part down. We like to be um, able to just kind of get to the toilet. So I figure I'll put it on this part. It'll be seen more. That's kind of in the middle. And see if we can get that up. I know I wanted to take my tea. I have to come from this side. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna pee. So these little thin lines might be an issue. I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. 
Okay, we got that part off. That's good. Take your little nap. to let it come on guys a couple little pieces I took it anyway oh well it ain't too bad be like why did you do that but hey because I can right that will be my response to her all right so we got that on there we got our wording on our lid part so we're gonna go ahead and coat this with a layer of resin. I'm thinking at least about 12, 12 ounces. I'm gonna I'm start with 12 and see what it do. Okay, y'all hold tight while I mix up 12 ounces. All right guys, so I've mixed up about, got about 12 ounces here. I'm not gonna use all of it, I'm gonna try not to. We're going to go ahead and pour that right on top. And spread that on out. over for it because this is a big mold so I'll just start moving it to the areas where you want it
this is almost um, this 12 ounces. Just in this one, one uh, in that one mold. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pour what I have left into this one. So we're gonna have to mix up some more. That is our first, it was about 13 ounces in this cup. So that was 13 ounces to start. It's looking good though. I just wish I could cure it faster, but my oven ain't big enough for me to put it in there. So we have to, this is going to be a time piece. Okay, let me go ahead and pour some more resin. And I'll come right back just to save time. Hold tight. Alright, so I got about 12 ounces mixing up now. We're going to go ahead and lay this in here. Hopefully we won't need all of this, but we might will. Hopefully not.
pretty good. Looks pretty cool. Got one little area of concern. But for the most part. part it looks pretty okay off a little bit but that's okay we're going to let this sit and I'm gonna hit it with the fire and we're gonna come back and demold which is gonna be my favorite part so go ahead and hit that like button subscribe button notification bell right hold tight while I get my fire together okay guys we are back we're gonna go ahead and hit this one with our fire a little torch here I had to move the other one because it was unleveled and it was yeah getting ready to spill over so I had to go ahead and put it in its designated place because it's not on its surface and so yeah but you guys know to just we'll come back as soon as they cure alright that looks so clear and so pretty Okay, we're going to come back and I'll demold and show you guys the finished product. Sit. Okay, guys, we are back with our toilet seat. I am super excited about this one because I have been waiting to do this and wanting to do this for quite a minute now. And so to have this, I am super excited to share this with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and demold the first part. It's quite a big mold. So, yeah, we're going to demold this first one. It is nice and hard. So, yeah, I'm excited just to see what it's going to look like. And that is the actual the actual seat. So, I I don't know how this is going to feel, but yeah. That is the actual, the actual seat. Okay, so we got this part. And then this is the back part that says the palers. Real fine and pretty. We're going to go ahead and demold it. Take that off. Set that to the side. And there is that part. Yay! So we have... The actual toilet seat now I am going to debris the edges of course because we don't want it to be sharp so I'm gonna take my debris and I'm just gonna try to debris around the edge here because it's so pretty and I don't want to 
scratch it or do anything it is so pretty and then I'm gonna show you guys the finish the finished product once it is installed because that's going to be the next step is to install it this has been curing for a couple of days because I wanted to make sure that it got super hard I could not dry this in my resin oven because it was too big so I had to wait and pour it and then I waited and it's been sitting for at least a week just to make sure that it's super super hard and cured I am just excited that I made it I, I mean I don't even know what to say this is so pretty okay so that's pretty smooth nobody's gonna get cut by using it now I'm gonna do the same thing for the inside part so I'm gonna set this to the side put this on the bottom while I work on this and this part um, same thing um, it's set for a couple of days have a little bit of over pouring just a smidge them here in this corner and then we're going to install this and just kind of see I know it's gonna be hard I know that um, it's not a, like a cushion toilet seat so if you're looking for a, a cushion toilet seat this Oh, I scratched it right there. No, this is not it. So it's pretty, it's pretty soft. I better come this way so I can make sure I don't scratch it anymore. My husband is like I'm he, he's ready to use it and I'm like this is not even for us <laughs> it's for the upstairs bathroom so I take it they gonna be seeing him in their bathroom I'm gonna have to make another one um, for our bathroom I guess once I see how this functions Okay, I got that side did. Now we gotta. So see, that's a lot of glitter. That's where my glitter is, or not glitter, but. All right, so that, that feels okay. I need to come. right here I thought it was so neat to be able to create something so unique. 
for your home. So I could not wait to get this. And now that I have it, it's like, oh, I'm excited. Now I can't wait to install it. Nice and smooth. Yep, I can rub my fingers all the way around it without being snagged by anything. And let's check this one. Same thing. And there we have it. Okay, now, so the next step is to assemble, to assemble the mechanisms which they will go like this. So let me grab them so we can assemble those. All right, so it comes with these two mechanisms when you buy, when you order the mold. I'm gonna put all of this in the link below. And then you have the screws of which you screw these into the resin and then they have the mechanisms and everything that you need to install them into the onto the toilet so this is the install into the toilet and then these are the mechanisms that we have to put onto the um, toilet seat these are the screws which they give you it is two four four each so a total of eight um and then we're going to measure them and put them on at least get that part finished so what i'm learning to do is i'm going to use some tape as soon as i can find some tape here i'm going to use some tape to um, kind of locate where to place our brackets. Because I want to make sure that they even up and line up with with my um I probably don't need to use that. I need some blue painters tape, but I don't have any on hand. But it's a little trick that you can do with painter's tape. And I'm going to do it with this uh, I might have some some hold tight. Okay guys, so we are back. Now what I did is I went and I took this tape and I took it to the toilet upstairs and I marked where the toilet seat and the holes were on the toilet bottom. I came back and I drew right here, and right here. I lifted the tape up and in between them two lines, 
I put my little circle just so that I can know exactly where this first one is going to go. Okay. Now my toilet seat lockings were different. The the inside one. Let me see how did it go. Inside, outside. I just know that my circle need to line up with the circle. That makes sense. So that's how that will go. That'll be on the bottom one. So when you lift it up, it'll sit up and then you can put it back down. So that'll be locked on to the bottom. Like so. Okay. I think that's how that, yeah, that's how that will go. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install. What I'm going to do is just use my, um, my, um, resin glue and I'm going to put it on the mechanism itself and place it down where I believe it should go make sure it's straight and then I'm going to secure it into place first so I want to make sure we got everything my circle is lined up and we have it secured in now what I did realize is that my toilet seat is a little bit wider a smidgen than what I thought it would be, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna move the bottom part out of the way until we're ready to install that on. Cause this is going this took a few little steps because you have to install this mechanism on here okay so we want to make sure we have the top part secured on first and so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna draw my lines come back in between those two lines draw my circle <coughs> and I can remove the tape So we're gonna do the same thing with this one. We're gonna line it up. Now see, this is a little bit backwards. So we really wanna make sure that the circle part line up because that's the part that's in the toilet and that's not going to change, right? So that looks about, about right. And so, same thing, I'm going to put my UV resin on the mechanism and place it, place it down. Now, hopefully, I don't have it, make sure it's nice and even. Trial and error always on the first piece, so I don't know. We just going by what I think. <laughs> Trial and error with the first piece. While that is curing, we're going to cure that again. <clears throat> I'm going to 
I'm going to attempt to drill the holes in it. So I'm going to get my drill here ready to go by installing my um, bit here. And I'm just going to lightly drill these four holes in. Have our screws here. <clears throat> and I'm only going to take four out. Set the other four to the side. Making sure that everything fits in properly, and they do. And I'm going to cure this other side real quick. One more time. Okay, that's a little bit harder than what I thought. So, what we're going to do first is that hole might be a little bit too much. I don't want to, let me see if I got a smaller bit. Hold tight. Okay, so I'm going to replace my screw bit for a drill bit and pre-drill some holes in here Let's see which way to tighten it which way to loosen <clears throat> Sure the bit is nice and snug in here and we're just gonna pre-drill just a little bit to give it just something to um, dig into Hopefully that'll work. Let me take that out. <clears throat> Put our screwdriver bit back in. Tighten that back up. see if that helps put our screw on the top <clears throat> oh I knocked it right on off Finally got it in there. My goodness, this resin super hard, but we 
got it in there. That's one. Let's see if we can get another one down in here. That's one. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the other one. drill these so it just takes a little effort <laughs> a little switching out but I'm gonna go do it step by step so that if you guys choose to do it you'll know what all you need and this is more this is more of <clears throat> advanced resin um, projects I wouldn't say this would be for someone beginning with resin, more of your advanced and drill a little, just a little hole down in there. Do the same in this hole. Alright, so I'm out of <laughs> juice. Hold tight. Alright guys, so we are back. I'm all charged up and we're going to go ahead and finish screwing in our screw here. as we can that don't feel too too tight to me but hopefully when I get this second one in here and I'm only going to take out one because this one I don't know it's looking a little the center groove is looking a little bit weird so we can put these four back in the pocket till we get to the next part and then I'll use that last because I know it's probably going to give me <clears throat> some type of problem <laughs> so it's just so I don't lose them alright 
So now we're going to try to get this <coughs> last screw in here. nice and tight wow okay so we got the first part in now we got to do the next part so what I'm gonna do is oh that's gonna be cute I think that's gonna be cute is to see how we're gonna screw in this next part. <clears throat> okay. So, we have our next part, which is right here. And we just kinda wanna line everything up nice and even. So that when they come down with each other, it's nice and flush. Okay, so about right there is where we need this to be. And so I'm going to try to mark it. If I can, which is very difficult because it's not a black marker, so <clears throat> I do have a black one. I don't know if it works. We're gonna try to mark it in here. Yeah, I can see that where that top screw needs to be or hole needs to be drilled and we are going to change this bit out and put our <clears throat> screw bit in as soon as I can find it where did I do with it our drill bit here we go little small one little small drill bit we're going to put that in can pre-drill just a couple of little holes <clears throat> and that's why we so we're gonna reposition a drill bit because that is not centered and Sure it's nice and tight on there. Still a little wobbly. It's not doing right.
sure we Drilling some holes. So we're going to remove our bit here, put our screwdriver bit in. As soon as it open up enough for us to stick that on in there, tighten that up. So, we're going to drill these first two in. And I'm going to try to, this is that bit, that piece, that one that's messed up. I told you I got one of these screws that is not right. Okay, so we're going to try to move this around. The, these bottom pieces stick it out to where it's sticking out and laying as flush as I can get it which that still isn't flush enough so the only way I'm gonna be able to do this hmm let me think hold tight Okay, so I got some of these little wooden blocks and I'm elevating this middle part up so that this can be flush with where the holes are. And then I can hopefully screw this in to be like right there screw this in a little bit better I need about one or two more blocks see what it do all right so we're gonna try to at least put this first screw in and see if that works position it in there where I place that hole at and we are going to try to screw that one in then I'm going to come and I'm going to screw this other side in. And this top one. 
So we have to get this a little bit, get this more flush in here. Which I have pretty much either script the screw or something or another. So I'm gonna see if I can get it out. try to get it out yeah okay so we got to repair that part give me a minute okay guys we are back I have the endings put on both sides and so that is how that will go so I want to make sure you can see the whole thing Ain't that dope? Ah, made the whole toilet seat. That is so pretty. And then they will lift up the whole seat and then they'll see that. That is so dope. Okay, we're going to install it. And here is the finished product had to make some modifications so I would suggest you put your footings into your basin and then adjust your toilet seat as possible and there you have it yep came out really nice there's the top and then let me down so you've seen it done here first. Y'all go ahead and hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button right so that you can be notified when we upload new content. And there you have it. See you on the next one.